Hello everyone, it's Leah or Alyssals and welcome back to a brand new series on my channel. Today we're starting our brand new series which is a Minecraft SMP and it is called Cobble Cottage. This series is hosted by my very good friend Angel. This is just a private SMP amongst my friends and I and basically, if you guys couldn't get it from the title, um, this is going to be all things cottagecore as well as cobblemon related. I can already see some cute cobblemons in the back. They are so, so cute. If you guys didn't know, cobblemon is a Minecraft mod for the Pokemons and they bring their models into Minecraft and we could actually battle and do all things Pokemon on this mod pack. So, Bidoof is trying to come in. Um, <laughs> but... Yeah, I just want to get started. I just wanted to do a little introduction, but I have been playing here and there. But I haven't really progressed much. But over here, we have the spawn. And then we have a waystone to spawn. And we have a bunch of waystones that we could go to. But over here, we have our starter chest, which I have already claimed. And these are just some of the people that are on the server. And over here, we just have some freebies, a trash can, and a mailbox where we could mail people. I also got myself a cute little backpack. It's a gold backpack and it has the jukebox upgrade. This is what the spawn looks like. There's not a lot over here. We kind of just have this little glass dome and hopefully later on we could build up the spawn. But here is the map I wanted to show you guys. This is basically like a very island like world and this is the spawn island and when we go above here we actually have angel's island milo's island when you zoom out a little bit my island is over here it's quite a big island but i'm obviously not going to use all the areas but the general place is around here and on my side we have jen's island right here these are some of our members were missing Milo and Ash from the list, but they are on the server and I can't wait to see what everybody does. It is quite a bit far, but I found this um, Blue Skies housing structure and we have a portal here, but I don't really know how to get to it yet. And so I decided to kind of seek shelter here. Honestly, this whole area I'm going to use. Oh my gosh, I got milk tank right here. But I started to flatten this out as well. But this is my area. We're going to have a really pretty river. And we have a very beautiful mountain. And I'm already building on a mountain or a cave on my current fairy course series. So I'm going to try to avoid actually building into the mountain. Um... That's kind of the plan. And then when you die on the server, you get your head, which I'm not actually sure what to do with it. I did not have any plans yet, but I just wanted to play. And once in a while, I'll make videos for you guys to see my progress on the server and hopefully go on adventures with some friends. I think it would be really cool to have like a big Pokemon gym in this area somewhere. But if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below. I think I'm going to start myself a farm first because i have really been starving on the server <laughs> um i've been running around for days now but i don't really have any food so we're gonna make ourselves a bucket and a hoe and just for the sake of like having some crops i'm gonna plant it over here so that we don't really starve and i also started to plant these leeks for the pokemons that way we could heal them i think and I'm just going to start my farm over here. Create some cute farmland. Okay.
Okay, our farm should be all fixed up. Some of them already started to grow, but very happy with this. We're going to have a better farm later, but just wanted to get started on some things. And I actually have been gathering these like rewards from dying a lot. Yes, you hear that right. I said dying. <laughs> um, we get rewards for dying. So I wanted to open them really quickly in case there's anything that we could use. So I'm just going to start clicking on them. So here we got an enchanted book, which is Curse of Bones, whatever that means. And then we'll open this one. A grave dust. A tombstone soulbound, whatever that does. So I'm just going to put these things away into my chest. I wanted to use this empty map to kind of mark out the area. I'm going to put it right here. Oh gosh, that's like right on the edge, but it's it's fine. Okay, um, I'm just going to put the map on my backpack for now. So I had already captured a Pokemon, which is caught to me. And honestly, I didn't really mean to capture this Pokemon, but she's here but she's not actually my starter so for the starter since i accidentally tamed this pokemon i have to type in a command to get it okay so here's my starter pokemon selection screen and i'm just gonna let you guys look through and see all of them they're all adorable and i could not make up my mind on which pokemon to pick but their models are literally amazing Like, look at that. I want to pick Oshawott, but I'm not sure. Um, Roulette, Litten, all of them are so cute. It took me a while, but I think I'm actually going to do it for the newest one, which is Pildea. And in honor of my little sister, I am actually going to pick Sprigatito. So this is my little sister's first ever Pokemon stuffed toy and she has been like obsessed with it. And we basically had things like all Sprigatito for a while. So we're going to go with Sprigatito. <laughs> um, my sister is very obsessed with Pokemon. But with that, we got our first Pokepedia. I don't know why I have another one, but I guess we'll keep one in my backpack just in case. And now we have a level 10 Sprigatito, and I guess we could look through the Pokepedia for a little bit. There's machines that do different things. So we have utility blocks, like a healing machine. And I believe this PC lets you store Pokemons, which is really cool. And this pasture block allows players to deposit Pokemon from the PC in the surrounding area so they don't actually have to be in our inventory all the time which is really nice and here catching wild pokemon um in order to catch pokemon in a pokeball the pokeball must be first equipped in a player's hand by selecting it in the hot bar they can be thrown at a pokemon for a chance at capture if a pokeball misses a pokemon the thrown ball will drop on the ground as an item and can be recovered it is crafted with red apricorn and a copper ingot in the middle and the apricorns the apricorn fruit looking things are actually planted all around my area we have red ones and i believe over here we have a ton more we have i think they're all red i don't know but let's take out our pokemon Tito, hello! You are so cute. Oh my gosh. I want to look around the map and I want to try and capture a Pokemon. I see Iglybuff and I see an Eevee actually. I think Eevees are quite rare. So we're going to attempt to capture Eevee. Hello, Eevee. We have to battle it. Well,. Actually, let's attempt to catch it, please. <gasps> you. Okay. I think we're going to have to battle this Eevee right now. <laughs> um, bite. <gasps> yes. 
Go bite her. Defense fell. Oh no. Okay. To the bottom right, you guys can see what's kind of going on, but really cool. My defense also fell. Okay, we're gonna try and attempt one more bite. And Evie, wait, I didn't mean to. No. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I really didn't. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to <laughs> make the Evie faint. Oh my goodness. I meant to capture it. What is wrong with me? Okay. We just have to weaken the Pokemon. We don't actually have to kill it. But I do see Psyduck here. So maybe we could battle Psyduck. Oh no, what's happening? What is happening? <gasps> ew! Ew! Okay, these things are disgusting. They're like floating meatheads. Oh my god, why? Like, why? What are you... Disgusting. Okay. Press R. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, Psyduck, I'm gonna bite you one more time. Okay. Another bite. Yes. And now we're gonna attempt to catch... Let's see if it works. <gasps> Wait, we now have a Psyduck. Wait, that is amazing. I can't believe it worked. I wish I did that for the Eevee, but I didn't. Good job, Sprigatito. That's so cute, but I think we can feed Sprigatito to heal. Perfect. And for Psyduck, we can actually summon Psyduck instead. We could summon them all at once, and we could feed you. Okay, let's see, let's see. Will you guys kill these monsters for me? <gasps> They're attacking them! Are you kidding me? This is amazing. I didn't even expect that. They're dying pretty quickly though, but... Oh, I want to catch Wooly. Thank you, Sprigatito. Okay, it looks like sleeping actually also heals the Pokemons, which is really cool. But speaking of that, I'm going to summon my Pokemon to come out so that I can heal them. Here you go. And I want to catch this Wooloo because it is so adorable. Um, Is there another one around? I think it despawned, but we're just gonna battle you. I'm so sorry. You're very cute, but um, <laughs> I don't want to like kill it, you know. Water gun? No, I didn't. <gasps> Wait, that's so sad. I didn't mean to kill you. I'm so sorry, Wulu. Hello, Wulu. Okay, I'm gonna battle you for real this time. Okay. Fight. Confusion. Okay, this time... It actually seems like it won't die like the last one. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. We're gonna catch it. And bam. Please work. Yay! Oh my gosh, we finally have a Wulu. Okay. I didn't mean to go this crazy on all the Pokemons. I don't even know how much I could have into my party, but... It looks like we could have six, so that's pretty handy. Okay, now with my cute Pokemon army behind me, I'm gonna go and actually head to this dungeon thing that I found near my area. As you all can see from the distance, there's actually a building around my area, and... It is like a stable and I actually went in there already, but I thought it would be cool if I showed you guys and it just has some cool horses. So we're going to go. It is an abandoned structure for sure, but there is also a spawner, a skeleton horse and a zombie horse, which I actually wanted to try and tame. So yeah, we'll keep the zombie horses there for now. Um, there's some things to loot, but I did not loot yet, so I'm just gonna grab everything. 
We even have some horse armor, which is going to be handy. And I'm not sure if there's anything here. Nope, nothing. Um, if we go down here, there is like a spawner, a zombie spawner. But when I came here, they weren't spawned. So I thought that was a little weird, but I'll take it. <laughs> um, and here there's also another chest with a saddle on it. And the rest of these, I don't really know what it looks like. Um, I guess let's just have a little looky. Looks like there's some furnaces. A bunch of food, which I actually really need. Um, more chest. Some more beds. Okay, anything else? Ooh, wait, this is actually bigger than I thought. Um, why is my Pokemon dying? <gasps> oh my gosh, wait, it is... Wait, this might actually be like a dungeon dungeon. And we are gonna use these for lighting the area up. Okay, that didn't go as I planned. Not what I had planned, but good enough. It seems like the zombies despawned already. So, definitely happy about that. Um, it seems like it's just another spawner. So, it's nothing really that crazy. But, ooh. Some armor. I actually need that so badly. I guess if we need to, at least we can XP farm here. But yeah, I wanted to try... Well, I'm going to put on my armor first of all. And I wanted to try and actually tame the skeleton horse. Are you just like a rideable horse? I have no clue. Okay, I'm going to put a saddle on you. <gasps> yeah, we can actually just ride this one. Okay, sick. Good to know, actually. Um, we are going to take you to my house. And... Thankfully, we do have leads, so we can actually put him into places, but we have to find a way to cross this river. Oh, actually, it's not that far. We should be able to just go through like that. And... We are home and safe. And my Skelly horse friend can go ahead and stay over here. You guys have any name suggestions for my horsey friend? Let me know down below. That is going to be it for today's episode of Cobblemon. I really hope you guys are enjoying this so far. And I can't wait to put out more episodes for you guys. And I'm just very excited to learn about the mod. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And I can't explain. It's just the way I feel. I can't contain, it's getting